Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and welcome to the Paul Pluter channel and today I'm doing Lost Mailbag. These are some lost things that I was a bit slack in doing so I'd like to apologize and uh, I had a parcel arrive, big parcel arrived and uh, remember like, subscribe and tell your fuckhead friends there. And uh, this gentleman here was a, uh, sorry, is a, uh, he's in the services and uh, He's given me this wonderful poster, wonderful poster, and uh, it lists some of the uh, the joint conflicts that Australia and um, America have been involved in. So uh, I'll actually be hanging that up. It's a really cool, really cool poster, and uh, it says there: America and Australia, 99 years of mateship and sacrifice. Uh, World War One, World War Two, Korea, Vietnam, Somalia, Civil War, Afghanistan, Iraq. Yes, you betcha. We've Australia's been a very, 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 very um, good friend of America. Uh, in the seventies, you guys uh, got rid of one of our prime ministers, a uh, Labor prime minister, Gough Whitlam. Um, the CIA was involved in getting rid of him, but he probably deserved to go because he was a lefty. So. Um, that's quite okay. In hindsight, he was spending like a drunken sailor in a whorehouse. Um, so yes, thank you so much. Now let's let's go through the the email there. Uh, this is uh, Ramsey the Leb, dear Archie. I've been watching your show for four years now. The last year has been an addiction, as I've been constantly keeping up with Archie Luxury and the Poor Pluto channel. I love your humor. humor and appreciate the many laughs I had watching your channel. I know you sold your soul to shitter watches, which is pitiful. Yes, yes, I, I've come back. This this was sent a while ago. Yes. We want the old not giving a flying fuck Archie back. <laughs> Nonetheless, I've attached a cool poster for you and Suckerhorn along with 20 fuckaroonies. 20 US dollars, thank you. Of course, you don't do shit for free. I want a no bullshit watch review with questions answered. I have added some Cubans for you because I figured you deserved more. I am a US soldier of Lebanese descent that fucking hates corporate America. So fuck all you punters. Archie is right. I'm 32 years old and only own two watches. A Ballon Ross 03-92 Shitter and a Rolex Submariner 116610 LN. The Ballon Ross was a horrible mistake but it helped me slay more women than Ian the watch dealer. Wow! I bought the Rolex barely used with a, a bargain thanks to Archie Expert. I absolutely love it and can't wait to test it out on a pussy hunt when I get back from deployment. I want another watch, preferably the Explorer 2, 16570 Polar or the Pepsi 16710. I am 33 and starting to lose my hair. Hair transplants will cost me seven and a half. What do I do? Get another piece or go for hair transplant? My budget is seven and a half. I am single. What would you do in my shoes? P.S. I love working with the ADF. They are amazing soldiers. We salute you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Ramsey the Leb. Thank you so much. And he, uh, in, normally people send me a picture, uh, but he's actually sent me, he sent me a, a picture. A picture, yes. A physical picture. There you go. That's the, the Ballon Ross, Ballon Ross Shitter. And uh, this here, I'll just show you the, um, this is the, the Rolex Submariner Ceramic Date. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, yeah, yeah, okay, let's have a look there. So, firstly, Ramsey, apologies for the long delay. This got pushed back, sorry about that, my friend. Uh, look, I, I think, to be honest with you, the Ballon Ross and the Rolex, I would keep both. Don't, don't sell the Ballon Ross, okay? The Ballon Ross, look, now that you've got it, it's not terminal. You know, the, the, there are worse shitters. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's, you got it, you're going to lose a lot on depreciation. Just keep it as your beater, okay? Keep it as your beater. The Rolex is super fucking cool. Come on, man, that's cool. Uh, look, you're asking me some advice there. Uh, 
you'd have to go Rolex. Now look, you're 33, you're starting to lose your hair, I understand. Look, if you're losing your hair, maybe that slick shaven look, you know, that could be the way to go. That slick shaven look. Sheila's love it. You look like you're in HR. I think you can get away with that in the army as well. So, yeah, that's what I would do. I wouldn't fucking... Hair transplants is a real... They look dodgy and uh, it never looks the same. You know, you have a look at my hair transplant here, Ramsey. It, it, you can just tell it's... Um, you know, you can tell you can tell where it's been sewn on. You can tell where it's sewn on. And uh, it looks shit. Look at that. It looks like a penis in the middle. This is, this is my hair transplant, Ramsey. It looks shit. I'd never do that again. So uh, my advice to you is uh, fuck it. Go and get the Rolex. Seven and a half. Get the, I hope it's not too late. This is a bit late, this advice. But there you go. Get the Rolex. Get the Rolex. Get the Rolex, boy. Get the Rolex. Uh, the pole is a great value. Really good value pieces there. I'd get a late. I'm wearing a polar myself there. A Rolex Explorer 2 polar. I would get the... Um, aren't they cool on a NATO? You can wear them any way you like, Ramsey. Uh, I, 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 look, forget the hair plants, just fucking go for that shaven look, that shaven look, man, that's all you need, is, uh, shaven look is super cool, it's very, very cool, the shaven look is, is, uh, is cool, um, and, uh, I gotta tell you, fuckers, I gotta tell you, <clears throat> Shave and look is cool, okay? Don't get don't get a hair transplant. It's all a con, okay? Look, it, lo it looks fucking ridiculous. I mean, I, I'd I'd look better <clears throat> with the shaven look. You you know you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, they yeah, it look it looks shit. Look at this. It looks shit. Hair plugs, hair transplant. Yeah, it looks shit. So uh, yeah, that's my advice. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Go for the Rolex. And uh, I got to tell you fuckers, thank you for doing your bit for the country. I tell you what, soldiers, I, I, always, I always love soldiers writing to me because you fuckers, you haven't dipped out and taken the pussy option. You've fucking gone out there. It's fucking hard. And um, I, I want to thank you so much. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you so much. It, it really is fantastic. Thank you, Archie Luxury, signing out, fuckers. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece, and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.